Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to day nine of the collaboration between Cara Brandon and dear Julie Julie. Now today we had a really, it was a nice day today, quite simple compared with yesterday. <laughs> there were so many digits. Now this one is Cara's day nine. I'm just going to make sure you're in screen. Yeah, yeah. Up a bit, up a bit there. Yeah, that's better. Um, this is Cara's day nine. You've got a beautiful pocket two tags, a little journaling card with Merry Christmas, uh, a postcard and these tiny, tiny little embellishments. And then dear Julie Julie, you've got these three wonderful Christmas cards with again two of these little strips and a stamp. So I'll show you what I've, I've done today. So this is just a piece of paper that I've sprayed with Kool-Aid. So the first thing I did was I cut out the pocket and um, with the pocket I have used the Santa that was left over that I still had to use with a bit of hessian underneath and that will go on and that will be my pocket. Then the tag, how I did the tag was I layered up the two tags on the page and I've put under here the two tiny, tiny wee elements here little elements underneath and this is the stamp at the bottom and then I've used the pine at the top there it didn't need much this one um, I felt doing it layered and then just leaving it as not on its own that was enough I didn't think I needed to do a lot more on that and that will go on the page like this now on the back I've used the bit of card that I had left over from making my next make this one I'm going to use as um, a pocket uh, and I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to use it as that way or whether I'm going to pop it that way and do a side one yet but those are the those two and then the third one I've made today I took a piece of that green card this one and this is from Cara Brandon's Christmas creation this lovely plaid on the back here now these little blodges are where I've sprayed some tattered angels on the front so that when I stuck these down you could see it through because you need to have that little gap for when you're folding up otherwise that they just hit one another and it doesn't fold properly so I'll go back to the bed back first so the tiny little one I've made into a pocket and this is the journaling card and again I've used the last bits of this up as well because I thought that was a important just to use the bits of scrap that we have and put the card on here this side is not needed because it's going to be glued down like that so that when you open it in in the book it will come out like this so that's why I've not glued that bit uh, so I've stuck the three big pictures on the front the three big cards Oh, these are just beautiful, aren't they? I mean, look at this one. And then on the back, as I say, I've got these. And this bit, don't put anything on that unless you want it to be floating. If you want it to be floating, then by all means put a piece of um, paper on there, anything you like that you want, you can write on. But then again, you can write on that anyway. It's quite a reasonable card that you could write over. So those are my makes for today. It was quite a, an easy day today. Um, I really enjoyed this one and then I'm just going to put them up so you can see them properly and the little bits I have left over now I have a tiny tiny Santa this little tag and the two green stamps that's my leftovers and then I've got a couple of pieces of the cutoffs so not doing bad on day nine i've not got a lot of stuff left over so thank you so much for being here today i so look forward to seeing you on day 10 amazing isn't it tomorrow is day 10 wow <laughs> thank you for being here guys do go and look at the other girls work because they are producing some incredibly beautiful pieces of work love and hugs everyone bye